Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today in this video, I'm going to do a video review for the Seacraft Diamante home theater seats. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually walk you through the seats themselves, talk a little bit about the comfort, the setup. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the extra functionality, um, the power functions on the seats, and just give you some of my general thoughts. So I actually um, got these from someone on a local marketplace. They were selling them used, but um, they pretty much came in new condition, so I've now had um, several weeks to really test them out and get a good feel for them. Seacraft makes um, several different models of these, but honestly, this is probably one of the higher end ones. Some of them you'll find um, range in, in various prices depending on what you're getting, and you can usually get them um, in either combinations of like two seats, maybe three, four, five, or more. Um, this one I had set up with five, and I'm actually using this inside of a kind of like man cave. This is basically a converted garage base. So there used to be a garage door down here. So we've got a um, TV and kind of gaming setup here, all my retro stuff, a newer TV for newer consoles and all of my older stuff here. Um, so anyway, this is something I wanted to get for in here because we like to have like gaming parties and things like that. People come over, play games. So this provides plenty of nice seating and it gives us the ability if I want to watch some awesome movies, things like that, I can use these. So let's kind of go through some of the features. Um, on the control panel here, you have um, several different buttons. So the first two here, this actually just is a power um, seat. So this will actually raise the seat. It goes at a fairly standard motion in terms of what you'd expect. So you can just push that up or down and this will honestly um, raise and lower pretty quickly. You also have a button underneath this USB port here. This will actually reset everything back to its default settings. So that includes the headrest and the, um, the actual seat itself. Now you also have adjustments for this headrest up here. So this can actually move forward if you wanted to push your head forward and then you can actually lower it down if you want to do it that way. So it's fully powered. Of course you have a USB port here, so if you wanna charge a phone or other devices, you have that. And then you have this button here, which actually will light up um, an LED in the cup holder here. And this actually looks really cool um, when everything's dark, so we'll do a little demo here. But um, this is actually another example of the LED strip that will come through on the base of the chair. I'll actually turn on all of them, and you can kinda of see what this looks like at night. And we'll turn off the, uh, the lights in here, just do a little demo of this. And I think it looks really awesome. Um, so this is kind of a demo here. I do have some lights on over here that are uh, creating some extra light and there's sunlight over here, but this gives you a pretty good idea. Um, one thing I still need to figure out with these is this particular one um, is actually attached. So this entire chair is one big piece, uh, but overall um, it looks really nice. Now let me go through a few other features and something else that's really cool about these chairs as well. So with this, um, you also have this small silver piece here and it, it looks really nice from a design standpoint, but this allows you to get various add-ons that you could put onto the seats. So this is an example of one of the add-ons. It's basically a little swivel um, table and these uh, simply just come in and out. So all you have to do is pull it up and it will release right out of it and it's basically just inserted into this. Now you can get other add-ons as well. This is an add-on that allows you to mount a uh, phone or maybe a small tablet. Then there's another one I believe I have um, for doing like a larger tablet as well. So these are all separate add-ons. Um, you also have these really deep um, storage compartments. So if you open these up, I actually have a small pillow in here and then I've even got another one of the um, table arms. So these are very, very deep, really good for remote controls, um, game controllers, anything that you could be storing away. They go all the way down. So that's something I really like about these. And um, overall, you get storage for just about anyone that's gonna be sitting here. Now, another thing that I wanna cover, and unfortunately I won't be able to demo yet, but these actually come with something called the sound shaker. So what that does is it basically allows you to connect um, the seats utilizing a add-on amplifier to your receiver. So here's an example, um, I'm actually um, doing some work on this right now, but this is a Sony receiver. So utilizing um, the existing receiver I have here, I can actually wirelessly transmit audio from an amplifier that will control up to four seats. The amplifier works with up to four seats at a time, so I'll have one that won't work in this case, but um, four of these seats will all have 
um, connection to what's called a transducer. Now I'll actually pull this back and it might be a little bit tough to see, but essentially um, what this is, is, is a piece that allows the entire seat to vibrate and have bass based on movie action, right? So the transducer is actually right under here. It's kind of where I'm pointing my finger. Now obviously it's a little dark down here, but this um, little device here has a plug and this is the plug here. And you can actually take the add-on amplifier, plug four of these into that, and that's gonna give you the capability to um, wirelessly send a signal from the amplifier to my receiver. And as things are happening in movies, like let's say I'm watching an action movie, there's a big explosion, the seat will now vibrate and have bass to match um, what's happening in that show or in that video game or whatever you're doing. Another thing I figured I mentioned while we're back here is all the connecting pieces are fairly easy. There's actually a um, little flip up piece here. So this actually flips back. And when you connect it back, it just flips back down. So that way it's not gonna fall out or get unplugged accidentally. Um, each cord also has an extension on it. And then you have a small brick, almost like a small little laptop brick. And each seat does need to be plugged in separately. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're gonna be using these as home theater seats, um, all of the metal that goes around the base actually could be um, hooked into a floor. So if you wanted to bolt it down, it does have that capability. If you were looking to do this as a true movie theater experience, or if you don't want to, like in my case, um, you can actually move all of the chairs and they're all separate. Um, so these are actually not connected in any way. They're all separate seats and I could move them around. The only thing to keep in mind is that this seat is actually the only one in this case with two arms on it. Whereas the rest, rest of them just have the single arm on each side going all the way down to kind of finish the look. So overall, um, fairly easy to configure. Um, you can get variations of these seats as well where um, they do have a both front row edition and a back row edition. This is considered the front row and the back, um, back row version of this is gonna be a little bit more of a slim profile in terms of the recline and what you're getting out of the seats. So anyway, I'm very happy with these. Hopefully you guys found my video review helpful, very informative, and overall I'm really pumped to um, add the sound shaker capabilities. I'm currently waiting on the amplifier for that. But I think if you're looking for some really nice movie theater seats, definitely can't go wrong with these. And um, I wish you guys the best of luck with your home theater setups. Talk to you later.